Good morning everyone, it's Molly Reversi and welcome to my spring barn vlog. It is currently 6 a.m. in the morning and I just got all 16 horses turned out to pasture for the day. In the spring and summer months, their breakfast is, well, their fields, which makes my job a lot cheaper and easier in the mornings. Anyways, let's get the day started. It's nearly 7 a.m. now. I'm just taking a quick pit stop at the cafe to get some coffee before I head out to my first lesson of the day because I know I'm gonna need it. It is spring break for the kiddos, so we have lots of students taking lessons during this week. It's gonna be a very busy one. Let's get to it. And do you see how Mary Legs has his head in the air? He's just a bit la di da right now, so let's try to get him on the bit. You're gonna wanna pick up that forward movement, so put some leg on him. Really good, okay, shorten your reins a little bit and take your hands a little wider just to establish a nice light contact. Good, now he's already let out of sight there, you feel that? Now let's do some half halts, squeezing your fingers a little bit, kind of like you have a sponge in your hand and you're squeezing the water out of it. Now when his neck drops down like that, you're gonna soften, but you don't wanna completely drop him. Just lighten the contact and pat him a little with that inside rein once his head is down. Just like that. You see how his back isn't as hollow and he's really using himself? Yeah, way to go. That is not an easy horse to get on the bit. And Mary Legs seems pretty happy about that too. <laughs> Good job. After that private flat work lesson with our lovable chubby pony Mary Legs as our stereotypical lazy lesson pony, who Julia did a lovely job at working with, it was time for an intermediate group lesson. This particular group all uses their own horses. They did some really lovely work over these fences and we got a lot done. And I always give them a little bit of homework to do at the end of every session since they have the ability to work with their horses at their leisure. So gave them some grid work exercises to do and that wrapped up my lessons for the day. Before my day got too much busier, I wanted to have some bonding time with the best boy in the whole wide world, Buggy. So I got him tacked up in this super cute yellow matchy set. It was his hack out day, so we just went around the manor, gave him a nice long walk and a bit of a trot here and there, which gave him some good mental stimulation. There are some really nice trails out by the vineyard, so we did that. It is also refreshing to have a break from arena work for the both of us, I think. Hacking out is also really important in his schedule because I'm trying to to qualify for the Oregon horse trials with him this year and I find these long rides are really great for keeping up with his fitness while not putting too much strain on his body and saving his legs. And before you know it, it was time to giddy up to the Jorvik stables where the equestrian festival is happening and put in some time there for a Q&A interview. I was pretty nervous for this, but also very honored that they invited me down here and everyone was so supportive. It was really lovely talking about what I've been getting up to with competing recently and my plans with my new horse Monty and of course Buggy and Belle as well. Yes, I do plan on entering both Monty um, and Buggy for the Jorvgen Horse Trials qualifier, so hopefully they don't get us too much trouble for each other with their little bit of herd boundness at the moment because they are pastured together, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself as I have yet to show with Monty, so we do actually have um, one coming up here pretty quickly, but only time will tell how we do in the show ring. I'm pretty confident in our abilities though, you know, he's got a really good head on him, but you, you only know how it's gonna go until you actually get out there, so uh, I'm really excited to start competing and see how it goes. Wow, I think I had worse nerves than I do at horse shows with that. Anyways, we just wrapped up the interview. It went pretty decent and since I came all the way down to the Jorvik stables, I want to support some fellow riders that are competing in the dressage show that is taking place here. I have so much respect towards these riders. The work they do with their horses is truly incredible. I mean, these horses are fancy, fancy. And as much respect as I have for these horse and rider duos, the only dressage ring you you will catch me in is for the dressage phase of eventing. I seriously do not know how they do it. The time passed by quickly and after watching a few dressage tests, it was time to hit the road again, head back home. It was almost 12 p.m. at this point and I had lots left in store for the day and a little surprise waiting for me at the barn. When I got back home, there was this dog with no collar sitting outside. She was this precious terrier and I had no idea what to do with her because it didn't look like her owner was anywhere to be found. Um, as of now, she is sitting by my 
my foot as I edit this. So if anyone has a missing dog, please let me know. I started calling her Shadow because she would just follow me around the barn as I got the horses taken care of, which I thought was kind of annoying at first, but deep down, I really did enjoy the company. I'm still on the hunt to find whoever she belongs to, but as of now, I'm kind of hoping she sticks around. After that little unplanned event, I went and grabbed some horses out of the pasture that were long overdue for a nice groom, and I gave a quick once over with the curry comb and then a dandy brush just to keep the horses at the CEC looking halfway respectable. That is right, I did in fact say CEC instead of SEC for the Silverglade Equestrian Center. We recently had a little name change to the Cosmic Equestrian Center, which is pretty fun, I think, because my channel name is, well, Cosmic Equestrian. <laughs> After a little break in the day, I then got out my Project Mustang, Copper, to have a little pole work session. I've been really noticing that he enjoys Western, so that's what we've been doing lately. He likes going on a nice long rain, and he's kind of got a pleasant little Western jaw going on. I don't know, you guys. Maybe he's going to be my one and only Western pony. We'll see. It's definitely a different side of him when we go Western, and he's been a lot more quiet, and his bucking problem is slowly but surely kind of fizzling away with the more consistency I give him. I'm sure it really helps that we're doing a discipline he actually enjoys, and at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. And that's something very overlooked is, you know, some horses just aren't meant to be eventers or jumpers or whatever. I do still wear a body protector because I have been thrown from him a few times and better to be safe than sorry. I've had a headache of a time with him lately. So to have this very peaceful ride where I feel like we got a lot of things done and didn't get stuck anywhere felt really rewarding. Good boy. After a quick switch of disciplines, I then took out a client's horse to ride. This is Whisper, and I'm actually competing in a low-key dressage schooling show with him tomorrow for his owner, just to put some training under his belt, so I wanted to have a nice relaxed ride, really get him into that listening headspace. He is small, but mighty. There really isn't a moment where you can stop riding this horse, because he will take advantage of that and put matters into his own hooves, if you will. <laughs> Funny his name is Whisper, because you have to be quite loud with your aid when you ride him, but during our ride, I just tried to keep him busy and really get his mind on an exercise, which I find really works for him because the more I can get him kind of asking questions, the less he's doing his own thing. So we did a lot of pole work today and I just really made sure to keep him on his toes. But after that, I called it a day because I don't want to wear him out too much the night before our show. Wish us luck for tomorrow though. Yep, that is right. We took Mr. Monty out cross country. That was my first cross country schooling with him and he rode like an absolute dream. Super bold and forward without taking over or getting rushy. I was feeling the adrenaline at first, but as soon as I started over the fences, I just let out a big breath of relief because he's a horse that absolutely is going to take care of his rider, especially when they're unsure instead of like trying to take advantage of that. I'm sure he was feeling my nerves a little bit too, but no, he jumped so cutely and was super brave. I'm just a very proud horse mom today. Now after that hi, it is time for the boring admin side of things. I've got some emails from clients I need to take care of and some hay shipments for next month to schedule um, and things like that. This is the not so fun but very necessary side to running and owning a barn. I just sipped my tea and powered through everything and in the end it took me about an hour which wasn't too shabby. Hey everyone, we're here at the beach and it's time for what's probably going to be my highlight of the day. It was time to take Belle out for a hack because she was the last pony of the day to exercise. The Cosmic Equestrian Center actually has a beach, if you even call it that, <laughs> um, just below the indoor, which makes for beautiful views, but also lots of fun gallops along the water side. We went out at prime time with the sun setting in the distance. It was absolutely perfect. And although she was a bit spicy at times, probably because the wind in her hair got her feeling fresh, but other than that, she was a very pleasant girl to hack out on. After a long day, it's times like these that remind me why I pour my soul into this sport. Not afraid of losing. 
It has been a long day. I'm tired. I think the horses are tired by the sound of the barn, which is quiet for once. We accomplished a lot today. I feel like I was everywhere all at once, probably because I have five of my own horses plus 11 other horses to take care of and lots of working with students and their horses. Not to mention the mundane tasks that come along with being a barn manager and just owning horses in general. It all can be a bit overwhelming, but it's so worth it. Plus, I'm feeling very motivated and excited because I'm really putting my foot forward this summer during the show season and we're going to be going to lots of events around the island with all the horses, so subscribe to stay tuned for that. Have a lovely spring day everyone and see you guys next time. Bye!